Live from our seven Tasmania studios, your nightly news with Peter Murphy begins now. Good evening everyone. In breaking news as we go to air tonight, a sixth per person in Tasmania has died from coronavirus. For all the details, we cross live now to our reporter Louise Huber. Hello Louise, this has just been announced. What do we know so far? Pete, we've heard only a few minutes ago from health authorities that a 91-year-old woman has died from the disease. She was being cared for at the Mercy Community Hospital at La Trobe. She's the first person in Tasmania to pass away at that facility from the virus. The North West is, of course, the epicentre of Tasmania's virus outbreak. Over the past few days, we've seen the region shut down as it tries to contain the spread. Pete, we don't know anything else yet, but the Premier has said he is doing everything he can to contain the disease. And Pete, he has warned the virus will take more lives yet. Yeah, thanks for that report, Louise. Uh, tragic circumstances indeed. Meantime, a clean team of medical foot soldiers has landed in Burnie to begin an operation more often seen in disaster zones overseas. The Australian Defence Force has arrived to take command of the North West Regional Hospital to deliver emergency health care, while more than 1,000 staff undertake quarantine. The medical might of the Australian Defence Force reporting for duty in its own backyard. Two Hercules C-110s touched down at Burnie Airport carrying a camouflage cavalry. Healthcare heroes here at the request of the Tasmanian government. Landing on the state's coronavirus battleground tasked with returning the Northwest Regional Hospital to some kind of normal. We haven't seen this in Australia as yet, certainly not during this period of time. The teams are, are well prepared. The nearly 50 strong team includes nurses, doctors, pharmacists, radiographers, highly specialised and highly skilled but rarely seen in Australia. The team known as OSMAT usually responds to natural disasters, working in some of the world's most challenging conditions. Here in Burnie, they'll work alongside the ADF to provide critical health care while the coast's regular hospital staff is in quarantine. Natural clinical service will involve um, what you'd expect in a normal emergency department, people presenting with uh, perhaps um, trauma, Chest pain. These reinforcements won't be able to start work straight away. The Northwest Regional Hospital needs to go through its deep clean first, and that process could take several days. Our aim there is to put a ring fence around the highest risk group of having infection. Uh, that will be a period of two weeks for those people, uh, and then their quarantine, providing they remain well, will be over. Also touching down, a third aircraft carrying some of the most specialised workers. They are at the high end of their profession. Um, they are used to unusual circumstances and uh, very, um, very quick to respond in an innovative manner. All set for what should be a very different mission to the one seen in the past. Tom Johnson, 7 Tasmania News. The country's health boss has come under fire over comments he raised about an illegal dinner party involving health workers in the state's northwest. The claims were made on the same day an enormous cleaning operation of the infected hospitals commenced. Workers dressed from head to toe in protective gear as a comprehensive and calculated clean began in Burnie. The government focusing on ridding the Northwest regional and private hospitals of COVID-19. It is an absolute priority that this clean uh, achieves its objectives to ensure that we have a hospital that can continue delivering safe care for our community. 17 cleaners were involved in the meticulous operation today, with plans to reopen the emergency department in the coming days. But the clean-up has been overshadowed by a rumour circulating. Australia's chief medical officer telling a New Zealand parliamentary committee this morning... We thought we were doing really well in the last week and then we had a cluster of 49 cases in a hospital in Tasmania just over the weekend. They were, most of them went to an illegal dinner party of medical workers, <laughs> but uh, we think... To be frank, Brendan was commenting on a rumour. Uh, at this stage, uh, there has, our contact tracing has not identified a dinner party of health workers. The Premier has asked Tasmania police to investigate. I think we need to do that on the basis that um, this has obviously got a life of its own and we need to get to the bottom of it. Uh, the comments made by Chief Medical Officer, I'm sure, wasn't meant to... to um, take anything away from that incredible appreciation we have of the work that all healthcare workers are doing. The health boss has since discounted the allegations, but the Australian Medical Association is far from impressed. Until there are facts, 
Um, let's not go with rumours. Let's just recognise that we've got a bunch of heroes up there in the northwest and a community who are doing it tough, and they rightly deserve our support. Meanwhile, testing is ramping up. Around 100 tests a day for the virus are being conducted in the northwest. I think we, we would actually like to see more testing than that happening in the northwest, up to several hundred tests a day. Tasmania sadly hasn't been doing enough testing for the entire period we've had this virus outbreak here. It's encouraging to hear the government are now providing tests to anybody who's displaying symptoms, particularly on the northwest, but that should have happened before now. GP services in the region are also being bolstered. Indeed, we have an additional 10 practices and 20 GPs. Tasmania recorded six more cases of the virus overnight, bringing the total to 150. Use your brains, be sensible, uh, accept that what we're trying to do is to save lives, and those lives could be yours, or they could be your families, or they could be your pregnant sisters, or your mum and dad, or your children. So please follow the rules. Letitia Wallace, 7 Tasmanian News. Tasmania's usually booming wine industry has teamed up with struggling hospitality workers to get through the coronavirus pandemic together. Many vineyards have been forced to review their selling practices as they continue their production in the midst of new strict restrictions. Delving into a batch of juicy Pinot Noir grapes, freshly picked at this Huon Valley vineyard. Harvesting now nearly completed at Chateau Wines, but stripping the vines hasn't been easy in the midst of a global pandemic. We had a, a young sommelier from Melbourne coming to help and also a winemaker from France coming to help this year. So that's been knocked on the head. So we're essentially doing it all ourselves this year. So um, that changes things. It's a lot more work. Tasmanian wine exports have remained stable as an essential service, but local producers have been forced to adapt within our state amid community restrictions. What has changed for us significantly, I think, is going to be the wholesale sales with the forced closure of restaurants, cafes and bars. So we're not really sure what's going to happen then. So I guess a stronger focus on the digital um, place. Has put a big dampener on the amount of uh, Tasmanian wine that's being drunk now. We've had to shift where and how we sell our wine. Tasmanian producers, they're, they're unique, used to these challenges and, uh, yeah, it, it's tough, but they're, they're getting around it. Many hospitality workers now being offered a helping hand by those behind the bottle. So we're getting all the sommeliers and wine waiters and, and restaurant staff to come out and help us pick. So that there have been um, some of our wine producers around Tasmania who have put the call out. And despite more tough times ahead, we're sure to toast the end of 2020 with a top drop. 2020 will be a, a fantastic year. There are some great quality grapes out there. We're most of the way through vintage around Tasmania. And the reports are in. It's a little down on, on the average yield, but the quality is again exceptional. Ruby Kamein, 7 Tasmania News. Police are issuing stern warnings to all Tasmanians that patrols will not end when the Easter period does. With coronavirus lockdown still in place, Tasmanian police have been conducting highly visible patrols across the state to clamp down on illegal behaviour, including the use of unmarked vehicles and the Westpac rescue helicopter across visitor hotspots. Since yesterday, there have been 10 summonses, 5 arrests and 40 warnings for breaching public health regulations. Evening. Cloudy across the north and west of the state today. A high of 21 at Hobart, Launceston 19, 18 at Burnie, Devonport reaching a 17. 22 was the state's top about friendly beaches and ooze, Smithton and Lowhead 17 and 20 at St Helens. On the close-up, extensive cloud about the west and north of the state with mostly clear skies elsewhere. Further out, showers and thunderstorms are seen to the northwest of the Kimberley while a frontal cloud band extends from southern WA across the Bight. Tomorrow shows a warm front crossing Tasmania from north to south with a trough and cold front over the Bight and southern WA. West to north, westerly winds tomorrow up to 10 knots, more variable about the south and lower east, swells up to 2 metres in the west and south and below 1 metre in the north. A strong wind warning is current for western coastal waters from southeast Cape to Stan. Tomorrow's forecast now Hobart and Jeepston rain developing Bothwell 16. In the north 17 across Launceston and Devonport Cressy rain developing. Burnie tomorrow 17, Strawn rain developing 20 at Curry. 
18 and rain about St Helens and Swansea Orford 17. Looking ahead to the three day forecast Thursday showers moving to the west and far south during the afternoon. Friday mostly fine about the northeast showers elsewhere and Saturday showers about the western central and southern districts. Capital City is 24 and partly cloudy in Perth tomorrow. Darwin mostly sunny and 24 in Melbourne. And currently Hobart mostly cloudy and 17, Launceston 15 and Devonport mostly cloudy. That's all for weather tonight, Murph. And that's all our news for now. I'll be back later with some updates. Thanks for joining us this evening. Have a nice night. Good night.